Jennifer Lawrence showed off her expanding baby belly in style on Thursday night in Los Angeles. While having dinner with a friend, the 34-year-old pregnant Oscar winner, who was recently seen meeting up with Dakota Johnson, accentuated the warm tones in her complexion by dressing in a brown midi dress with a v-neck and matching sweater. She accessorized the dress with black ballet flats and a black leather jacket. She had her long, golden hair in a braid that fell down her back after being pulled back. The Joy Star wore makeup that looked natural and accented with white hanging earrings. The Hunger Games star's second kid with husband Cook Maroney was made public on October 20th through a post on Vogue magazine's Instagram stories. The couple already has a two-year-old boy named Cy. In 2019, they got married. Lawrence talked candidly on the delights of being a first-time mother in a 2022 interview, stating that the arrival of her baby felt like my whole life had started over. I simply gazed. I was simply enamored. In addition, I fell in love with every baby on the planet. Newborns are simply incredible, she said. When filming for Die My Love started in August, it seems the crew managed to conceal Lawrence's belly. The thriller, which co-stars Lakeith Stanfield, Oscar winner Sissy Spacek, and Robert Pattinson, centers on a new mother who fights psychosis while attempting to keep her sanity while residing in an isolated location. The film is based on Argentinian novelist Ariana Harwich's 2019 book of the same name. In 2018, the book made it to the finals of the Man Booker International Prize. The soon-to-be mother of two is getting ready for the documentary Bread and Roses, which she executive produced, to be released on November 22nd. The focus of the Sarah Mani-directed movie is on a number of Afghan ladies who must cope with the Taliban's ascent in Kabul. Malala Yousafzai, the recipient of the Nobel Peace Prize, and Justine Chiroki, the actress business partner, also produced the movie. The documentary was well-received by critics when it debuted at the 2023 Can Film Festival. On Rotten Tomatoes, the critics have given the movie a perfect score.